Sorry about that. I uh, hit the wrong button. <laughs> no worries. We're going to be seeing you here in a beautiful new film. Was this role something that came across your desk? Were you uh, auditioning for crowd ads? Yeah, so uh, it is beautiful, by the way. The film looks gorgeous. Um, I had I had obviously read that the film was going to be made. I um, I loved the book. So a couple of years before the it even was, uh, you know, casting, I had um, I had read the book and reached out to inquire about the rights to to for myself. And then uh, and then obviously they had already been uh, Reese had gotten ahead of me, uh, <laughs> and so uh, they were smart to give it to her. Uh, but no, um, I knew about the film. I had let my reps know that if anything, if there was anything in the film, I would love to be a part of it. And this really is the only role that somebody my age, I guess in Garrett's role, uh, he, he plays Pa, um, that somebody my age could do. So, um, so yeah, I was thrilled. So when it did come across my desk, um, I was happy to, uh, to throw my, throw, throw my name in the ring. I, I knew the character obviously from the book and everything. So. It was an it was an easy yes for me. Did you undergo any sort of legal training or look into legal aspects of uh, of those for this role? Was there anything you needed for your performance, or is it just beautifully monologued the way that you would as an actor? Uh, yeah, you know, I've been arrested a few times, so I'm, I'm no, I have not. I, I joke. Um, uh, no, I, first of all, I love law and I, for a lot of the beginning part of my young adult life thought I would be a lawyer or litigator. So I was thrilled to finally get to play a litigator, which I have not done. Um, but I, I feel somewhat versed in that world just because as a fan of it, I, I actually, as a kid would go sit and watch trials, uh, and watch the litigation theater's work and um you know I loved the theater of it I loved I love the theater aspect of it so um I, I was excited to finally get to play a lawyer uh a litigator specifically were you familiar with any of your co-stars for this one before getting to work with them here on where the crowd I'd sing uh familiar personally Anna I know uh we we do both had, had done some work with UNICEF uh in Los Angeles Anna O'Reilly so I know and have met Anna. I uh, haven't worked with her, uh, had not worked with her, and still haven't. We didn't. We didn't get to work together on the film. Uh, obviously, a fan of of David's, um, so I was really excited to get to work alongside him. He's a phenomenal actor and has done such good work over the years. Um, and a fan of Daisy's. Um, I had not worked with Daisy before, but was a fan of da Daisy's. So um, the, I was familiar with many of them, but I had never, uh, didn't know any of them personally outside of Anna. It's such a beautiful and just dramatic and intense film. When Olivia Newman, the director, started working with you, did she give you any advice for really how to either get into character or for the performance aspects of the trial areas? Or did she really just trust that you've done this wonderful work and it's on the page, so she let you go? Yeah, yeah, I, I had a, a Zoom with, a, with uh, Olivia before I got out there, mm -hmm. um, but she had seen my work. She had seen the audition tape, so she knew what I was bringing. And, and so, you know, we talked a little bit about the character and at the time what was on the page, which, um, you know, I mean, I think the first cut of this movie was like three hours. So they've, they've cut quite a bit down. They, they had to, of course. Um, but we talked a lot about what was on the page, and just what we wanted to accomplish uh, with Eric. And, uh, and then, yeah, she let me go. I mean, it's, you know, we're all professionals. I mean, she's got a lot on her plate. Um, but the courthouse that we're in is beautiful. And so it does a lot of the work as well. And then working with somebody like David and all the other actors, you know, helps. And so, um, but outside of that, no, we just talked a little bit beforehand and then obviously on the day. How did you shake off then a long day of filming? These are 
long, I'm sure, courtroom scenes that you're working on for the day to get all of them out of the way or as many as you can at the moment. So uh, you're in this, you know, very focused headspace for a very long time. Um, a cold beer, some oysters, uh, you know, New Orleans, where we shot, has a lot of fantastic food. So uh, after a long day of work, I love to go sit out and eat a great meal and unwind and have a cold beer uh, and then go to bed and do it all over again. Uh, but yes, courtroom scenes are notorious, some of the longest scenes to shoot. Well, what were some of your most memorable moments in from filming or maybe some scenes in the film that you can tease um, that really stand out for you? you know, I, I loved I loved doing any sort of like cross examination. I, I love, like I said, because, I, you know, I thought at one point in my life I would want to be an attorney and be a litigator specifically. I, I loved the aspect of being in that courtroom and and really just playing playing lawyer for a little bit you know which I've never gotten to do so something that I've always wanted to do I, I got to do so anytime you know we got to do some cross-examination some opening uh arguments closing arguments using the space which I always really love to do and um we were able to do because the space was so beautiful and it was such a big space that we could really like inhabit it um and we had a phenomenal group of uh, day players playing the jury, which were great. And they stayed engaged for long, long days, which is not easy to do. Um, so I don't know that there was one specific scene as much as just being in the courtroom and, and being part of it felt felt right. Sort of soaking up that uh, long awaited time that you were supposed to, you know, in, uh, you know, revisiting your That's destiny, right. if you will. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I have a thumbs up in my square. My Zoom has a mind of its own, so it'll raise its hand. It'll have a thumb up. It'll have all sorts of different little emojis <laughs> pop up. So I don't know why, but it's it's always a surprise. It's fun. Well, it clearly it agrees with your statements. Yeah, it agrees. <laughs> yeah, it's been removed. So there you go. <laughs> there's, there's a phantom uh, that's working alongside of you. A ghost, a ghost of Zoom past. <laughs> What do you think it is then about where the Crawdad sings that is going to make it a fast fan favorite film? I mean, I know it's a book and it's a beloved book uh, by so many, as we've touched on before. What do you think it is, though, about this film that uh, Olivia has done so well that's really going to make it stand out? Well, listen, I mean, you always have a really great advantage when you've got an IP that's as popular as this one. Uh, this book, you know, Delia Owens wrote a phenomenal story. Uh, she's a great writer. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting her when she was working with us uh, one day when she was there when I was at work. And, and um, yeah, I mean, I, I think really that's, that's it. You know, I mean, it's a phenomenal book that, uh, you know, so many people loved. And I hope people will enjoy the movie. I, I know it's a, it's a tall order when you've got something that as popular as this book, people Oftentimes, you know, go in and they walk out, you know, begrudging, that, you know, it's not as good as the book, but, right. you know, I think it's important, you know, when, it, when we read books, we read them with our interpretations and, you know, what we have in our minds is what someone looks like or, uh, so it's, it's always hard with a film, but I okay. think, I think that the, 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 um, the team does a really great job at, at bringing this, this story to life. So I hope people enjoy it. What's next for you then? What have you been busy working on lately? I am developing a show that I, I can't totally divulge, but uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of taking a different role as I'm uh, producing and creating and developing a show right now. It's been, been very exciting. So it's been, I've been busy with that and it's been uh, a learning curve, a steep learning curve, but a, but a really fun one as I kind of am on the other side right now, which is cool. What made you then decide to step behind the camera and do some work that way then? I, you know, I just, I've always been fascinated with the industry as a whole. I, I love all the, you know, I love the collaboration of it all. And so the idea of being able to like take a story and, and try to bring it to life uh, was, sounded challenging, but really fulfilling if, if we can see it to the finish line. 
Uh, I'm sure during it at some point I will step in front of the camera because that's really my true passion. But um, but as an actor, you know, you always have this time in between jobs and, and I'm somebody that's always kind of chomping at the bit to, to have something on my plate. So uh, this felt like an easy transition. I keep, yes, cut, cut out for What would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of the wonderful work that you do for us, whether it's on our TV screens or on our movie screens? Thank you. Thank you. I mean, but, you know, thanks for being a fan. And, uh, and I think that the fans of the book are really going to love this film. It's, uh, it's, it's really well done. It's beautifully shot, as you mentioned. Um, the acting in it is great. Daisy leads the charge and, and she's phenomenal in it. And, um, and, and I think as hard as it is to bring a book to life and have people enjoy it, I think this film does a really good job. So uh, I look forward to hearing all the, all the feedback.